What's good, everybody? It's your man, CJ Kyles, a.k.a. The High Value Nurse, checking in once again back with another video. You can live pretty well by yourself. One more time. Listen, I know I really didn't do like a day three update, but this is uh, day four out of the four uh, out of the 14 day run. Um, everything is smooth so far. Praying to the most high for a continued 10 more days of grinding. And like I said, man, it's just, it's been a pretty good experience today. I actually, well tonight I start a new contract with a new employer um it's an eight week assignment eight week assignment and it's out it's out i'm not gonna say the city where it's at but it's out there not not that far it's like 30 minutes away from the house and everything so we're gonna see how that is i've heard mixed reviews about the place so it is what it is but we're gonna see what that's looking like and man 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 i, I be seeing y'all comments and i promise i'm gonna get ready well i'm sorry i promise i'm gonna i'm gonna get more prepared with with the responding and get better with responding to the comments because let me tell y'all something i really do appreciate every single one of you all that subscribe to the channel whether it's 10 people subscribing whether it's a million I appreciate every single one of y'all. Y'all give me motivation to keep going. I see everything y'all y'all comment, and um, I try to respond as much as possible. But y'all, y'all know I, I document it. I'm literally on the grind every day, I'm getting ready for this next vacation, and it's gonna be a good one, y'all. And when I'm on vacation this time, I'm gonna give y'all like an in-depth view and y'all can also go over to the travel and heartbeats youtube page subscribe to that channel you can see uh a, a very in-depth view of what vacation is looking like but i'm i'm gonna just give you and i'm gonna i'm gonna bring the series back how lp in school changed my life so what that's about is pretty much when i'm out of town i'll show y'all some of the beautiful sites and how nursing school has allowed me to go here and all that jazz so other than that, man, everything has has been good, man. But one thing, bro, <laughs> one thing that I really wanted to talk about today, I'm not gonna lie, fam. And sometimes, sometimes it still it gets to me, but at other times it don't, bro. When you on the road or, or, or sis, but like when you on the road to success, bro. And you are on the journey to becoming the best version of yourself. I swear to God, bro, you are tested. You are tested, man. Like, you know, and you like, let me tell you something, man. When you win, you know, you are going to be tested from every angle. You're going to be tested with success guilt. You're going to be tested with friends losing you or you losing friends. You're going to be tested with people asking you for money especially to the nurses because everybody think nurses are instant millionaires now <laughs> let me keep it real nurses did get a bag they definitely got a bag for the they've been getting a bag for the last couple years but everybody thinks that every as soon as you become a nurse you become a straight millionaire and contrary to popular belief there are a lot of broke nurses out here now I do understand that nurses have the ability to get money very fast and that is probably what that along with some of the lifestyle that people be flashing it gives the notion that um, you have it because I remember even before I became a nurse I even thought the same thing because I'm like because every nurse that I knew was fly you know what I'm saying? All the male, oh, I didn't know a lot of male nurses, but the male nurse that I knew, he was fly. Always had on fresh new clothes and everything like that. Always had a bad chick with him. Like every every male nurse that I knew was fly. All the female nurses that I knew, they was fly. So I assume, oh, they balling, balling. And some are, but that's gonna come with it, man. Like. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know if there's any other nurses out there that experience that, but I had an uncle that 
ask me for money a lot and I don't even get a phone call. I don't get a how you doing. I don't get a text message to say, hey, come over for dinner. Come on, let's chop it up. Blah, 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 blah. And when you don't want to do something, people will try to make you feel guilty about not doing it. I'm telling you, bruh. Uh, and if you let it get to you, you will have the guilt of being successful as a nurse because people automatically assume that you are in another tax bracket. They automatically assume that you rich. They automatically assume that you balling and all that kind of stuff. Now, with me, people that watch my YouTube channel, you know, they know that I go on vacation. So they just be like, oh, well, I know you got it. I know you got it. So, hey, let me hold 50. Let me hold 100. Let me hold 150. Let me hold 100. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it be that type of energy. But it's just like, my guy, you, you don't act, you don't call to check on me. You don't call to see the work that I'm putting in. You don't call um, to say what's new, what's up with you. You don't call to see how your mama doing. None of that stuff. So, it's just, it, it really, um, it low-key becomes irritating after a while. So, I just stopped responding. You know what I'm saying? I don't, especially if you are an able body grown man that has no mental illness, that has no physical ailments, and the only excuse is you just being lazy. I don't even want to be associated with people like you. You are the scum of the earth. If, if, if it's nothing wrong with you, and you choose to just not be lazy and your only way of getting money is to beg and steal you are almost worse than somebody that steal because at least somebody that's stealing is putting effort into stealing you dig what i'm saying it's just somebody who's just lazy just not doing nothing just getting money and asking for money no it's no honor in that so i, I can't rock with that only if there's nothing wrong with you now, if you got an illness, you know what I'm saying? You got a disability, that's out of your control. You feel me? I'm talking about all you lazy dudes who don't want to do nothing, who sit up there and ask another grown man for money knowing good and well you ain't going to pay him back. It ain't nothing wrong with you. You just choosing not to work at a time like this when the whole planet is hiring. I got nothing for you, player. <laughs> I got nothing for you. I got some work you could do, though. I got some work you can do, but if you ain't trying to do that, then it's, it's nothing for you. So, I tell all my nurses out there um, who may be in a similar situation, listen, you don't have to break bread with nobody you don't want to do. You ain't obligated to do none of that. You feel me? If you find it out the kindness of your heart that you do want to help people and you do want to give them money when you act or when they ask for it, then do it. But you don't got to. It's not their business. You know what I'm saying? It's not your, you know, it's, you don't have to. You don't have to. And they be like, oh, you got it. Yeah, yeah. You're right. I do got it. But it ain't for you. It's for my household. You did what I'm saying? This this for me, what I want to do. When I want to go out of town and take trips, yeah, this is, this is for this house player. You know what I'm saying? It's not for you. So don't let them guilt you. And then doing things that you don't want to do just because you're a nurse. Oh, you are a nurse. You can pay your bill. Nurse told me the other day that um that they mama was like, oh, you're going to redo my kitchen because you're a nurse and you can afford it. Uh-huh. Oh, so you just going to volunteer me. No, we don't do that. We, are, we don't do that. You know what I'm saying? That's disrespectful. You don't volunteer me for anything that I don't want to do. You did what I'm saying. I'm not obligated. You wasn't with me in that classroom, getting them lectures, taking that test, having all that pressure on me. You wasn't there. You wasn't in there with me taking that NCLEX. You wasn't in there with me during them clinicals. So anything that I choose to do is because I'm going to do it for you and not because I'm obligated, nor do I have to. You feel what I'm saying? So this is unbelievable the nerve that some people have able body well can do what they want to do just don't want to do it because they see you got it what what fam i can't do it this is why i'm, I'm gonna keep it so real 
I can count on one hand my circle. Real talk. I can count on one hand my circle. And that's not that's no that's nothing. Not, it ain't personal. But I can't I can't listen. As far as my home life and my personal life, I live a very stress free life. You feel me? Like I don't I don't have negative people around me. I don't have people that have bad vibes around me because I'm gonna tell you something. The more that I grow and the harder that I work, my tolerance for BS continues to shrink lower and lower and lower because I work too hard to put up with bullshit. And you should be the same way. All y'all nurses that's out there, shout out to the 60 hour game. All y'all nurses that's out there working 60 hours, all y'all seeing us, seeing us that's out there doing y'all thing, working them 60 hours, grinding. You dig what I'm saying? Helping them people, changing them people, providing ADLs for them people. You feel me? The harder you work, the less bullshit you start to take because your patience just goes further and further and further down. The, the fly, the more fly that I realize that I am, I really start to tolerate less BS because I'm grinding, I'm confident in my abilities, and I'm overall a good person. And I don't have to take BS because I work too hard to take BS. See, people who take BS are people with no options and people who don't work hard enough. You feel me? And who have absolutely no confidence, and that's something that maybe they should seek help on. But other than that, I'm not going to take your BS. So no, I don't feel guilty because I, I'm, I'm saving a nice little cushion for myself. I don't feel guilty about that. No, I don't feel guilty because I want the luxurious things out of life. You feel me? No, I don't feel guilty because I enjoy eating at five-star restaurants. I don't feel guilty because I like staying at five-star resorts. I don't feel guilty that because I want to see the world and some people can't do it. You have the same 24 hours in a day like I do. Point blank period. Stop playing. That's today's video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Hope you got something from this. And if you don't do nothing else, if you don't do nothing else, please, please get paid. P -p -p paid. Young nurse. Get paid. Peace.